Hello and welcome back. We are on day two of Charge Across America and we are about ready for our first charging stop. Okay. Well, not really. So, we're ready to look for it. If you guys remember, yesterday we decided to live dangerously and we kind of pushed the envelope on what was available um, in terms of our remaining battery. And we got to the charger with about gone into its super conservation mode. Turtle mode. Not quite. Was it in turtle mode yep. officially? No, it, it showed the turtle icon. It did show the turtle icon. Okay, so we were officially in turtle mode, which, you know, is not the most fun and exciting thing to experience. We got passed by a smart car. Then we got passed by a smart car with eyelashes. Um, but be that, that as it may, we made it there and it was fine. And going to push through so we've got some 50 kW charging stations along the way but that's going to take us from what we saw yesterday at a 50 kW station about 80 minutes to get to about 80% charge oh, so that's, that's going to take too long so we have decided that we're going to stretch it to the in electrify america fast charging station and that is showing us the range of we're going to arrive there in 86 miles and we've got 88 miles of range now we did a bunch of reading yesterday and various people that have driven this model of the audi e-tron and they've in, they said that zero means zero that it's not like a combustion engine vehicle at all that at zero it's done or even like Right, there's absolutely no buffer on this car. As far as we can tell. Uh, so we are at plus two miles right now in terms of range. Uh, but we did uh, figure out yesterday that we were driving on sports mode. So now we switch it to efficiency mode. And hopefully that's going to actually have a positive impact in terms of the range that we're getting. Uh, stay tuned. See what's going to happen. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so uh, we were trying to push it, but uh, the car is a 29 mile range. Destination to charger is about 28, 30 miles. And we're not gonna risk it because we're not sure if we could- uh, We don't want a turtle up. mode on the highway. Yeah. So luckily, we've got some friends that are coming to give us a little assistance that we'll show you here in a second. We're gonna get a, a little power boost. The equivalent of a boost. Yeah. Okay, how did that go? Okay, so uh, we were a little short. Uh, we met up with our buddies and they gave us that extra 10 miles that we needed uh, to hit the fast charger and we're on our way to the fast charger. That was pretty painless. That was pretty painless. That was, was pretty painless. Honestly, it was like shorter time than it takes to fill up gas. That was a perfect top up. Uh, I love the tech that they have. Uh, it's really fantastic. Awesome guys, really, yes. really impressed. Thank Thanks. you to EV Power Pods. Thank you EV Power Pods. Okay, what's going on? Are we? Is it in here? Uh, we're in the vicinity again. Yeah, it's. 
I think. Hold on. Just we don't know exactly Sheffield where. Sheffield Crossing Giant Eagle. You know what would be a good idea? Giant Eagle. If all of these charging stations would put signage at the entrance to the lot. EV charging this way. Well, that's a that's what they should have. Just like they have gas signs on the highway, yeah. they need to have EV charging they, signs. Yeah, on the highway on too. The it highway. would be amazing. Right. So we We're start... four minutes away, 0 0.8 miles. Okay. But you know what? Make I think... a U-turn in 25 feet. I feel like EV drivers can't really get by without something like an app, plug share, or whatever. So they're kind of used to doing things that way. But once you get to the lot, they need to have some kind of, you know, handicap parking. Yes, yeah, so I'll tell you what. I, I, so Ben, what I notice is like this, right? If we do it based on the address, we seem to not find the a, the actual charge. But if we do it using the app, then it takes you right to the spot. With the pin drop, right? Then we find it. So we're that is a salient point. That's that's where I think my errors. I think so giant far. eagles over there. Uh, fine. How do I cross back? Uh, gotta go back out and make a right. That's Regal. You want to see if you're on the charge? Okay, yeah, you're on the right track. So go here and make a right. Okay, so we found Giant Eagle. Yeah, so I'm relying on Mike's uh, ways right now. Oh, it's down there. See? Right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no one else from our group? Oh, it is. That's Ryan, right? It's the Mach E. Okay. There we are. I need to get some work, dude. Charging! Alright, so we're gonna go to the 150, right? That's what we said? Yes, well, we can't go higher than that anyway. Yay! We are here. Yeah, go to the 150 over here. So, it's not one of our cars, but it looks like someone driving a Mach E had some trouble on the road. And they needed to get towed to the nearest supercharger station, which is right here. We're moving along pretty nicely. We're at 53%. 54%. See how quick it moves? And we're just going to ride it out until we can take off. Catch up with you on the road. Okay, so we're back on the road. How's it going, guys? Well, we're yet again finding ourselves with 12 miles of range, but good news is we're only 2.6 miles of, from away from where we hope is going to be Electrify America Fast Charger that will be available for us because <coughs> we are late to get to an event. So we're also going to change clothes while we charge. So yep. dual purpose charging. Yeah, and we're pushing the limit once again. Let's see how it goes. In oh, yeah. half a mile. All right, we've come to look at Electrify America stations in the middle of a Walmart parking lot as our saving grace. Oh, is that uh, Ryan? Turn left. Oh, that's the Mach-E is just leaving. Uh, Which one is this one? So do you say this is 150. Oh, these are the first sideways ones. Oh, here, let's go into that. 
So as much as we said that seeing Char Electrify America was our salvation, every single one of those stations were dead. Just completely off. That's a little disappointing. So now we are going to live dangerously. We're nine miles away from where we need to be. And How yeah. much range do we have? Oh, we have 11 miles of range and we're nine miles away. What's that? My, my phone's not even GPSing it. Uh-oh. Okay, what's going on? It appears like there's a power failure in the area because none of the trucks. Oh yeah, look at that. Either. They're all out here. The whole so even the sign here. The maybe we uh, we spoke too soon, so we apologize, Electrify America, for doubting you. It looks like oh, but there's power over here. Well, uh, talk about having off-grid power and backup batteries. That would really work here. 